Hey guys, Manga Comics back here with a long overdue comic book haul, but uh, I'm here, so let's get this haul on the road. And uh, as always, I want to thank my new subscribers, and those people are Eddie Cage and Amazing Murfinator1028. I'm sure you guys already know. Amazing Murfinator makes some pretty amazing videos. Uh, if you guys haven't checked them out, I'll put his link in the description um, for you guys to go subscribe to him. Uh, and uh, yeah, he subs back, and so that's cool too. But uh, his books he shows off is are awesome, and he's a pretty funny guy. <laughs> so um, without further ado, let's get into these books. Um, so, I'm sure you guys are wondering why I have Harley Quinn number 7 and Harley Quinn Annual number 1, uh, and it's the bombshells. So, uh, I showed off the, this year's bombshell covers a little while ago, and, um, then it came to my attention that they came out with another Harley cover. So, here we go. This is Harley Quinn, the very first one. Bombshell, um, number seven. This is Harley Quinn Bombshell Annual number one. And yeah, this counts as a bombshell. So I picked it up. Uh, and it's still bagged and sealed. I never opened it because I don't read Harley. And this is the one that was at a convention. Yep, amazing comic conventions. Uh, so, went on eBay. People want 30 to 40 for this book. Someone had a best offer. They uh, wanted 38 for a buy now in a best offer. So, I did a best offer and I did 25. The guy accepted right away. Paid. Great shipping. Uh, Really was happy to get this for 25 because I would pay 32 for it at the most. Just because, um, oh, then you guys, I showed that one already. Uh, the standard cover. But, uh, this, uh, I can't do it. Well, that's the best it's going to get. All four Harley Quinn bombshell covers. Um, I wish she was in this outfit and this one. It would look a lot better. But um, those three look really cool, I think. So, I mean, they all look cool. So, yep, that's uh, I just showed them all because you know, so I'm gonna put these here. All right, and let's get into this haul because we're already five minutes in. All right, so. I picked up uh, a set off eBay for $25.98. That's including shipping. And it was Infinity War. So that's number six. Number five. These are all uh, very fine near mint copies. Four. I mean, it's 90, so... Three. Oh, and there's stuff on the back, too. I forgot. Um, so, it's really cool. Uh, Celestials. Uh, four. Cover six. Thanos right on the back right there. So, that's cool. Two on the back, Hulk, and a bunch of others, and Infinity War number one. This is a, I think this is a pretty classic cover. Um, I mean, come on, you got Spidey, Cap, Wolverine, Mr. Fantastic, Silver Surfer, Gamora. You now, just everyone is on this cover. It's pretty cool. It's the artist. Milgram. I don't know why Hulk is in those clothes. He, I don't know. The 90s were weird, I guess. So, that was number one. 
in, you can't have uh, Infinity War without the first part, which was Infinity Gauntlet. So, pick that up as well. This was number six. And I believe, yes, George Perez did these covers. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I love this cover where she's choking, uh, Nebula's choking out there. And also, I don't know. I like that better than number one, almost. Um, Infinity Gauntlet number five. That's a cool cover as well. The Come At Me Bro cover. Love that. Well, this was before Come At Me Bro came, became a thing. So, Thanos did it first. And again, George Perez just... He's got to be the artist to be able to get as many characters on one cover as he can. I mean, he's got that award. I mean, yeah. number two. Number two's cover wasn't that great, but it's pretty cool. And number one, the iconic cover, the Infinity Gauntlet. So, i had been looking for Infinity Gauntlet ever since I started collecting because, um... I just figured the way they were doing Avengers and everything, they would soon get to the Infinity Gauntlet and it'd become a big thing. And it didn't become as big as I thought it would, and I'm glad it didn't because I wouldn't have it now. But I paid a total of $63 for this book, for this set, because uh, it was free shipping. <coughs> um, I think the guy wanted it. 80 and I, I like to do best offers because uh usually as long as the person's willing to really accept the best offer um it's a good experience but if they if they already have a price in their mind I wish they would just have it as a buy now or something otherwise because otherwise the best offer is useless so but then I think Archangel also pointed that out about best offers that they'll People will just decline your offer without even giving a uh, counter offer or something, giving you an idea of what they would be willing to accept. So it's pretty, uh, but sometimes it works out um, because the Infinity Gauntlet set goes for um, some crazy money. So I was I was really happy to get that set for what I got it for. All right, this is gonna be the last group of books. Uh, so, I had 361 of Amazing Spider-Man, and for some reason I did not have his cam uh, Carnage's cameo, so I just picked this up off eBay for five bucks, um, and it was really nice shape, so I didn't really mind it. So, yeah, finally got that off the list for some, I was going through my comics because I got the, uh, CLZ comic app and I was going through my books and I don't know why I didn't have his cameo so I got it. Alright so this is a Infinite Crisis series I'm working on as you guys can tell from Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity um, Infinity War while wow. uh, blank for a second I'm trying to get all the Marvel in DC event series, you know, uh, worldwide event series kinds of things, so, uh, yeah, I'm working on that, <laughs> um, guys, it's late, so please forgive me, alright, so this is Infinite Crisis, sit that right there, Infinite Crisis number seven, six, and, that, and, the uh, famous number five cover uh, with the high Marais Marais Blue Beetle, um, who's rumored to be in the Booster Gold Blue Beetle movie. I just wanted this set, so um, and I paid less than twenty for it. I can't remember how much I paid for because I've had these books for a while now, and. Uh, I just remember Infinity War and Infinity Gauntlet because I did best offers on those and um, 
they got accepted. So, but these, I didn't pay. Uh, I paid under twenty for it. I know off eBay. So, four, three, beautiful Jim Lee covers. Two. And it did come with a, a one, a number one, but the, uh, the, um, uh, it was detached, um, the centerfold was detached, so I messaged the seller, because I always wait to inspect the books before I give feedback, and I let them know that number one's centerfold was detached, so... They just gave me a partial refund of uh, like five dollars, so I think I paid maybe ten for all of these, and uh, I left them good feedback. But uh, and I know I can find number one for a couple of bucks, so I'll have it soon enough. So with Infinite Crisis, I also picked up Final Crisis. Uh, this Final Crisis set off of eBay and it came with Rage of Rage of the Red Lanterns um one shot Resist one shot uh Rogues Revenge three of three Rogues Revenge two of three and Rogues Revenge one of three and what was funny was uh oh and it also came with Requiem um what was funny was that I didn't even know it was going to come with those books. I thought it was just, I thought I was paying for only the mini series of uh, Final Crisis. So that's seven. Oh, no, you don't. Six. Mm. Mm. There we go. Five. Four. Uh, and I believe it was a while since I read these now because I, I got these sets in August guys I've just been behind on books and now um, I, I, I got I, I have another package uh, that's gonna come in the mail and I really didn't want to hold out tomorrow I didn't want to still have these books to show off so this is number three of Final Crisis, and I believe this is the return of Barry Allen from uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, where they find out that he um, has just been running uh, away from death this whole time, so, because he was faster than death, so, yeah, number two, and number one, so, got all of those books, uh, Infinite Crisis was, I think, maybe 10 or 15, something like that, in uh, Final Crisis. I try not to pay for the miniseries sets all over $20 because, I mean, nothing hardly ever happens in the event series. It's, it's rare if uh, something crucial happens, you know, like Civil War is only big right now because... Um, they're doing the movie and things, but I'm trying to get ahead of DC's movies before they decide to do uh, an event series in its Final Crisis or uh, any of their crises or you know anything like that. So, just want to get all these series in. That's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for staying subscribed, and thanks for my newly subscribed people. Uh, I think I'm over 250 subs, which is crazy. Yep, just fall right there. Uh, uh, so I can't thank you guys enough. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye.